do remember my Ale Mama bag. It came in very, very handy for my Oboroko. The only problem now is that the bag will be smelling like Oboroko for a while until I get it cleaned up. This is my share of the Oboroko that I shared with my friend. I went ahead and dropped hers off, but I took mine too. Just so, you know, she sees it and, you know, is fully aware that I do not cheat her. I shared it at my home and just took everything so that we're not spending time sharing while I drop it off at her place. And she was highly offended <laughs> that, um, you know, I felt like she would not trust me. But, you know, all is done. This is what the book looks like. So I will say they all come in um, medium size, medium to small sizes. I haven't really seen one that wowed me that was extra large but the entire box was 25 pounds i believe yeah if um if that's incorrect i will correct myself as i edit it okay so i'm about to go drop off the oboroko um half of it is bagged my friend who I'm sharing it with and half of it is mine um, I am going to go drop off some to my mom before I go to my friend's place so the total cost of the box of Oboroko was about $400 so it was a little less than $400 but I do factor in the shipping the shipping was like $19.99 or so about $3.79 for the box and then $19.99 for shipping so it's about a few cents less than $400 and the company that I ordered from is called LaRouche. You guys can see that. What I will do is I will uh, put in a link to where I ordered this from. You know, the funny thing is that I will have never ordered this from uh, an American company. Well, it's not an American company. It's really Norwegian, right? It's from Norway. And most of the Oboroko that we eat in Nigeria actually comes from Norway. And this goes way back to Biafra War, when a lot of Nigerian, not Nigerian kids, really Igbo kids, Igbo families, not just the kids, um, were suffering because the Nigerian government pretty much cut off the food supply. So there was a lot of starvation. There was a lot of kwashoko. Kwashoko is what we'll consider here as a... Um, failure to thrive you know a huge lack of protein and what happens is if you don't like if you don't get that protein from whatever source be it plants be it meat you know you end up seeing these kids that look very very and adults too, that look very malnutritioned with the pot belly the very very skinny extremities and it can actually lead to their death from you know starvation and lack of protein so the Norwegian government then was sending what they knew would actually uh, help which was the cod fish there's a lot of cod in Norway and then they send it they can't send it fresh because by the time it comes to Nigeria the thing will expire so they dehydrate it and then send it and what you need to do to hydrate it back is just add a little bit of water or you can just even chew it like that you can chew it like that and get your protein so the love of Oboroko goes way back anyway I love Oboroko myself my favorite is Isho Oboroko I will eat in New York Oboroko but the Isho Oboroko is the best I don't know why I just love the taste um there's not much meat in Isho Oboroko it's just a little you know the um eyeballs <laughs> <laughs> that sounds weird but you know everything that you find in the head of a fish is in there and there's a way that the bones in the show will kind of melt in between my teeth that I love I love seeing it in all pots of soup and I cannot cook any soup without adding any form of oboroko. And Isho oboroko is my favorite. What I usually do, what I used to do, was I used to order it from Nigeria. There is oboroko here in America. There is plenty of oboroko. I mean, I just ordered this one now. But what happened is when I bought the oboroko from African stores around here, I found that the taste was... um a little different than the taste that I like in my you know Niger soup so then I had continued to order it from Nigeria I'll tell my uh, brother-in-law what I want he will order it for me ship it to me um, and all that but then recently I 
as recent as early this year i wanted to have him order some for me and ship it and he was telling me the cost of night post night post like more than doubled this is something i ordered the year before they more than double the like the price gouging in nigeria eh hey sometimes i sit back and think to myself like how are nigerians getting through this like i i know there is poverty a huge amount of poverty in nigeria but you actually have to be rich to live in nigeria the kind of money you're spending left right front and back yesterday now onions is the new gold so you you, you Usa. Usa. I'm the only one in this car. I don't know why I started yelling. <laughs> I, I don't need to yell for you guys to hear what I'm saying. But it can be very um annoying is not even the word because people these are people people's lives, okay? And all this change in price and everything affects every individual Nigerian. Anyway, he was telling me, my brother-in-law was telling me the price to ship items now. It was more than double what he sent me the last time around. I said, you know what? I think at this point, it will behoove me <laughs> to change my taste boards, okay? So whether or not this Eboroko tastes right, I, will, I have no choice but to adjust because I'm not going to pay the price of gold for Eboroko. It doesn't make any sense. So yeah, that's why I am... Um, I am trying this one now. The cost of it was $400. There is no place to store it. Um, the best place I found for myself to store Oboroko is in my freezer. If you put it in the freezer, it will last you pretty much forever. Whenever you're ready to cook it, you bring it, you wash it, you, you hydrate it back again before you put it in the pot of soup. So, yeah. Um, as I open this one, you know, I just that smell of Oboroko. I know some people, people, a lot of people, they, they don't like the smell of, you know, all the local dishes, but I'm a fan. Yeah, um, I like the smell of Oboroko. I like the smell of Obe. I like the smell of Ogiri. That's just, that just me. I mean, everybody is different. So I'm going to give this a try and see how it works. But I think the pricing was very, very reasonable. They packaged it very well. Everything was sealed. There's a little slit a little cut on the top of the bag i don't know why i don't know if it was intentional or if it was um something that happened during packaging and all of that but uh, i think they're called weevils or whatever that little little insect in the thing that eats up the oboroko if you leave it out for them there was like very minimal amount of that very very tiny and the funny thing is when they ship oh, when they ship um oboroko from niger to me because because, it's, because the oboroko spends a lot of time in shipments it tends to accumulate more of those weasels or weevils or whatever they're called so this one that was sent to me from here it didn't really have that much a few of them that i can count out is not much so i am looking forward to trying it yeah this was sent from texas is uh, produced in Norway, but it was shipped from Texas here. And um, yeah, <laughs> this is my own new way of doing things. Some of you guys might have even seen my unboxing of Oboroko from um, Niger, but you know, the price and everything is just not, uh, yeah, it's not conducive for anybody. So we have to change our taste buds and we have to adjust, okay? You have to adjust to the world as you see it. So we're going to try this up, Morocco, and I'm hoping that it's good. It's as good. I don't I don't even know. I don't think it'll be as good, but it's okay. It's okay. We'll manage it like that. And um, what else? What else? What else? I'm thinking of questions you guys might have regarding this up, Morocco. Oh, shipments. I got it less than two weeks after I placed my order which wasn't too bad it took them a while to actually send it to ups but once it was sent to ups ups delivered delivered it to me within like four business days so it's not bad i think the processing is what takes time but the shipment is not that bad and they even have cheaper ones like if the more bulky orders you place the, the more bulk bulky your order is the more you're going to end up saving but it was just easy for me to share with one person versus like multiple different people so i don't want to be chasing anybody around for my own portion of the money 
so yeah that's it guys if you have any questions you can put that in the comment section once i try and cook with this up boroko i can come back and give you guys an update on the taste but you know what i don't think the taste will deter me i will probably be ordering from them again because you know the boroko seems clean it seems legit and we are changing out our taste bud in this 2020 you know because price gouging is not gonna get me mm -mm, no price gouging uh -uh. like what anyway guys i will see you guys in the next video bye for now